One, two, three, now. We got that fish in Ooh, that's good. You do got that fish in affliction. Woo! Boy, don't get no better that first thing in the morning. Woo! <laughs> How big is wow. this fish? How big is that? Oh, God, what a monster. An absolute monster. Woo! Man, that fires me up. You know what? Big dog, it's time to wait a line because it's Vision Affliction Time for those who've got it bad. Well, Mom and Dad's grab the kids, it's time for the fishing show. Me and the big dog's gonna go catch them down at the fishing hole. Well, you better stick around because you don't know what you're missing. Yeah, me and the big dog's got that fishing affliction. Grab your hats, grab your baits, don't forget your poles. We're gonna fire up that old ranger boat and head to the fishing hole. We're gonna try to catch a big one. Yeah, that's what we're wishing. Cause me and the big dog's got that fishing affliction. Yeah, me and the big dog's got that fishing affliction. <laughs> Yeah, and we've got it bad. I've got that fish in affliction. Hey, I'm Aunt Nefo, and I've got that fish in affliction. Hi, I'm Denny Brower, and I've got that fish in affliction. Hey, I'm Mark Menendez, and I've got that fishing affliction. I'm Bobby Lane, and I got that fish in affliction. Hi, I'm Chris Lane, and I got that fish in affliction. I'm Shaw Grigsby, and I got that fish in affliction. Just like me, here, fishy, fishy, here, fishy, fishy, here. You think it's gonna be available? No, no. Oh, oh, oh. No way. No. <laughs> well, folks, it's time to wet a line because it's fish and affliction time, and welcome into today's episode, volume five of Fish and Friends, as we're having a whole bunch of fun with a bunch of friends of Fish and Affliction. Can't get enough Fish and Affliction TV? Then be sure to subscribe to our Vimeo and YouTube channels where you will find web-exclusive content. Don't forget to like our ever-popular and growing Facebook page, and at the end of the show, you'll meet the Fish and Affliction Facebook Friend of the Week. So sit back and get ready to have a whole bunch of fun with Volume 5 of Fish and Friends, right here on Fish and Affliction TV. I don't know. What have we gotten into? He's got a fish over there. Does he? Yeah. What's in between me and that fish? Go walk backwards. Walk backwards? Yeah. Well, folks, not every fish that you go to catch is done with a rod and reel. And such is the case when you go fishing with the masters of grablin, the Percy Priest Grabblers, led by King Neptune, David Potts, Master Grabbler, Jerry the Beaver Mattern, and newcomer, Big Mike Bargatze. And let's join in the action as Big Mike is doing battle with his very first cat. With a bunch of instruction from King Neptune, David Potts. Come on my right side, all the way around. Watch the pole back here. Come on around. Just quick, keep coming. I'm gonna try to help you catch your first one. All right, let me have a pole. Let's see if I can get again. Shoot him, Elizabeth. Shoot him. <laughs> right, right, right. right, just let off. Just let off. Wait a minute. Get the gun. <laughs> Take it, Paul. And jerk this snot out of it. Straight back. Go. You, you miss him or you got him? Let go. Let go. You I got go. a rock. Yeah. No, you ain't. Did I hate it? Let go. If I hate it, he's tough. He's hard as a rock. <laughs> Watch your leg go. He's there. That was my leg. Huh? That was my leg. <laughs> it was close to the family. <laughs> you might as well say it now. <laughs> oh, don't pull him out. <laughs> I thought you wanted me to pull him out. Pull him out. No. Oh, don't do that. Just just hook him. <laughs> Let me try and find him again. You got a hold of it? Yeah. Let me let go of it. Don't pull him out of the hole because we'll never catch him. Okay. He'll be gone. 
Okay, he'll smack you four or five times. <laughs> Just for fun. Just mm -hmm. show you who's boss. He'll probably win. So how deep is this hole, David? Uh, I don't know, three foot, here you go. Take the pole. Now, now don't dirt up. You gotta dirt down and back. Okay, now lay it down, lay it down. All right, go. All right, let me have it again. You got it? All right, where'd he go? Just get him. Just get him. Just get him. All right. Quit messing with him. Got him? Yeah. You got him? Yeah. Let me have the pop. All right, don't pull. I won't. Now push him back a little bit. Push him in. One hand. Light. Light. Like you're patting a baby. You feel it now? Yeah. Right. Oh, he feels like mush. He's there. Okay, so he, the grappling part is done, right? right. Now we got to string got him. him. Now you got to string him. Right. Through the mouth or through the tail? Whatever, Whatever is available. <laughs> what do you think is going to be available? Don't know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No way. You got dog. <laughs> Man, he ain't happy. All right, let me have Poe. He's trying to get off. I think I got him. Let me have Poe. What happened? Huh? You can lay him out? Right behind me. Huh? I don't know how he got out. Hold on, we got a monster here, I believe. Let go of the pole. I gotta have the pole. I gotta have control. Dang, golly strong. What are you feeling, Dave? I'm trying to feel where he's at. He went to rolling. He turned that, he about pulled that hook plumb out, that stick plumb out of my right, hand. You hold the pole. No, don't put no death grip on it. Alright, I got it. Oh, he's uh, he's there, baby. Don't jerk that pole on me either. I won't jerk it. He's there. I got his gills. Back again. Alright, let me tell you what you need to do. You need to push him back a little. Alright. Maybe not that much. <laughs> he's fighting. He's mad. Oh. He's mad. He's mad. Oh. We got a channel. Is it a channel? Yeah. Feel his lips. He's mad. You need to lighten up your grip a little bit. Okay. Oh, oh he's mad. What do you think, Big Mike? He's pulling. I love it. <laughs> you in it, ain't you? I'm in it, buddy. <laughs> He's pulling. He ain't happy. Is he big? No. He feels like a big one. If he ain't a big one, I'd hate to grab a 40-pounder. <laughs> huh? He still, I still got the stick in him. I got the hook in him. He's mad. You got him? You take the strand. You get up. Stand up. Step over there. Don't, don't go. Stand up. Stand up on a rock. <laughs> Stand up. Okay, now don't take the fish away from me. Because it's hooked in the mouth, I can't get it out. Okay, I got you. You're full fish. Fish here. Yeah. 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 I told you he wasn't big. No, he ain't big, but he's on me. Well, folks, this is Big Mike's first cat, done the hard way. And, folks, in a moment, we'll be right back with some more Fish and Affliction TV. But right now, let's go see some pictures from this week's In the Wild. Your pictures in the wild. Brought to you by Poindexter's Outdoors in Gallatin, Tennessee. Well, folks, this is Cody Baker holding a beautiful Dale Hollow smallmouth that he caught while fishing with Mr. Ken Jenkins. And this is Ken holding some dandy old hickory largemouths. And today's Miss Vic pick, something from the backyard that caught her eye that I'm so glad she took a picture of because this is beautiful. Folks, you can post your pictures to our ever popular Facebook page and maybe you'll see them right here on the big screen. In the wild, your pictures in the wild. Brought to you by 
Poindexter's Outdoors in Gallatin, Tennessee. You're the rookie. This is your moment. Market 15 pounds, 10 ounces, steel chipping in this year. When you tie on a bait by Strike King, Hey man, we got your back. You're standing on the shoulders of legends. Smyrna Ready Mix is an established company that handles business daily with integrity and professionalism. Whether you're a general contractor, professional builder, or a do-it-yourself homeowner, SRM has your concrete solutions. With several convenient locations in the Middle Tennessee area to serve you, the only call you need to make is to SRM, ready to serve you with integrity and professionalism. Fission Afflictions Facebook page. Like it. Well, folks, here's the big dog and slamming Sam Lashley walking the sexy dog on Kentucky Lake. First one of the day, Sam. Oh, he's a Disney star. Beautiful. <laughs> Movie star. Movie star. Movie star. Bigger than I thought he was. Three and a half start today. I'm telling you. If he got you, woo, that scared me when he did that. You know, that's a typical Kentucky Lake fish right now. He's three and a quarter, three and a half. And I want y'all to know that he came on the sexy dog. And this has been the hottest bait, in, in my opinion, in the country as far as topwater baits. Now I've took that middle hook off because the grass is so thick, it's just something else to get you, you know, marred down in the grass and they'll pull off. So I put these little short shank hooks on it, which I lose a little bit and I might not catch hook up as many, but I don't lose as many in the grass, especially when you're catching like six and seven pounders, which we'll probably catch a few of those today. I hope so, we have been. But that bait, it's a sexy dog. It's the hottest topwater bait in the country. I love it. Mm. That's the sexy dog throwing the sexy dog? That's the sexy dog throwing the sexy dog. Big no. sexy dog throwing no, the little sexy dog. I'm not dog. saying anything. <laughs> That's a beautiful Kentucky Lake bass right there. What a beautiful fish, Sam. Beautiful fish. All right. Well, another fish moved right in there. Get him, big dog. Striking buzz bait. <laughs> that was the first catch that striking buzz bait. It sure was. Oh, another. Oh, look, that's a jumping son of a gun. They're pretty there. Aren't they? They're pretty in that water, aren't they? Boy, they are beautiful. Is that the pro buzz, big dog? That's not the new one. That's the one I've always thrown. Man, what a dandy, dandy fish. Now that's the advantage of throwing the trailer hook because look at what the what happened to the fish. It scissored him. One hook got him on the bottom side and the other one got him on the top side and when it happens, he's not coming loose. <laughs> Smart Ellie. Hold him up, big dog. Beautiful fish. Another good chunky Kentucky Lake fish. Yes. All right. There's two anyway. All right. Gorgeous morning. Beautiful. Well, the sexy dog caught one. Now the grumpy dog caught one, Sam. with <laughs> it. I'm rolling. Down there. You see it? Like a five pounder down there with it. Had more than one chasing it, Sam? Yeah, there was a five pounder with her. That one wasn't getting off. Look at that. <laughs> that one was not getting off. Good solid keeper. Sexy dog. 
I love this grass. This, that's hydrilla. And it's really growing strong. At the beginning of the year, we were worried that it wasn't going to come up. And the lake got dry. They didn't pull current for about two months. And it, as you see, it's and a golf helps. course now. <laughs> yeah. The water's clear, and it's a golf course. That is what makes bass factories. It's the best thing that could happen for this lake. I'm trying to beat that. It's putting his Okuma rod in the way, wasn't it? <laughs> best thing that could happen for Kentucky Lake or any lake is that grass. I would love to see it on Old Hickory, but this lake is a bass factory because of this grass. Am I upsetting y'all? <laughs> you get that way when you don't It's a good solid keeper. It is. Good fish, Sam. Good oh, fish. That one smoked it. That one smoked it. Good fish, Sam. Good fish. Huh? My gosh, my gosh. My gosh. That's a good one. Is that a smallmouth? Why is that a smallmouth? Sam? Smallmouth. What is that, I'm man? Gonna, I'm going to tell you what. They say you don't see a lot of first. That's a first for me seeing that in the grass like that. Sam. Big old smallmouth. Sam. I told you we were going to catch a big smallmouth today, didn't I? Well, folks, when Slammin' Sam Lashley says you're going to catch fish, you can bet that's exactly what you're going to do. And a whole bunch of them. Folks, we'll be right back with some more Fish and Affliction TV in just a moment. But right now, let's head upstairs to the kitchen to see what Miss Vicky's cooking this week. In the skillet with Miss Vicky, the most delicious part of Fish and Affliction TV. Welcome to In the Skillet, I'm Vicki Porter, and today I have a fun, easy summertime recipe for you that was given to me by my good friend Katie Blair. It's for Mexican chicken casserole. And now for the ingredients. You will need cooked shredded chicken, an avocado, chopped cilantro, lime, mayonnaise, cumin, roasted red peppers, and salt and pepper. After you've cooked and shredded your chicken, now add your avocado. Next, add your roasted red peppers. Now your cilantro, now a little bit of cumin, now your lime juice, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper, and last your mayonnaise. And now we're gonna get this all mixed together. After chilling this Mexican chicken casserole in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes, you're ready to serve this as a sandwich, a wrap, or all by itself. You can find this recipe at intheskillet.com and be sure and click on the YouTube icon to see this recipe as well as all my other In The Skillets. I'm Vicki Porter. Tune in next week to see what's cooking in the skillet. S11 sunglasses makes it like the water is not even there. Hey everybody, I want to remind you about rainbow and brown trout fishing here in Tennessee. Look, in the wintertime we stock a lot of rainbows and that's a, that's a great project, but in the spring we're stocking areas that are a little bit different, streams that are a little bit different, that can support trout all year long. Some of them are small and you can find the listing of all of them in the fishing guide, but a lot of them are below these tailwater dams like the Caney Fork River below Center Hill Dam or the Elk River below Tim's Ford Dam great places to go catch some rainbow. Limit on an everyday is seven in the mid-state. There's no size limit. You need to get your fishing guide to make sure you understand it and then look and see where some of these fish are being stocked. Not all the tailwaters are listed, but trust me, they're full of fish. They're getting stocked a lot with rainbows and some browns, okay? Especially the Caney Fork gets a lot of brown trout and so does the elk. There you go. Go out and go fishing and I'll see you next week right here on Fishing Affliction. Fishing Afflictions YouTube channel. Watch it. Welcome back to Fishing Affliction TV, and this segment of the show is brought to you by Ranger Boats, Mercury Outboards, Deca Batteries, Akuma High Performance Fishing Gear, Seaguar Fishing Line, Mustad Hooks, Onyx Life Jackets and Rainwear, Freybill, Real Magic, 
Rugged Marine Electronic Mounts by Ram Mounts, Wigwam Socks, BBG Marine, and Poindexter's Outdoors in Gallatin, Tennessee. It's time for Gibby's Grand Old Lures and Tackle Treasures. In the past, we've talked about fishing in the United States with the advent of sport fishing lures about uh, 1850s. Uh, but prior to that, uh, fishing was subsistence. It meant where you had supper that night or not, depending on your catch. And uh, one of the remarkable things that they, they used back in the early 1800s were trap hooks. It means that uh, you baited a hook and when the fish struck the hook, the, the hook in turn struck the fish. And here's our examples of early, early subsistence fishing. All of these are trap hooks, are either spring-loaded or mechanical hooks that were meant to ensure that you had supper on the table that evening. Folks, this is just one of the grand old lures and tackle treasures in Mr. Gibby Gibson's tremendous collection. And folks, Gibby is a past president of the National Fishing Lures Collectors Club, a wonderful source of knowledge and friendships, and a place where you can see countless grand old lures and tackle treasures. Be sure to check out this wonderful organization online at nflcc.org. Folks, on the last volume of Fish and Friends, I showed you my first monster rockfish I ever caught while fishing with my fish and friend and my beautiful wife, Miss Vicki. Well, now I'm going to show you what happened seven days later while fishing with my beautiful bride again. And once again, another monster rockfish on Old Hickory Lake. Oh my gosh, V. Can you believe it? V. V. <laughs> oh, Vic. No, he's there. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I thought my thumb's rolling's gonna. Oh my gosh, the big dog was shooting me. Folks, you're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe it. Look at where far he is out there, V. You need to get back. Go back further. Okay. V. <laughs> I can't believe it. Can you believe it? No. <laughs> what did I just say? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, folks. Oh Lord. It feels like it's hooked real good. Oh, stay out of the motor. And we got the net this time, Vic. Yeah. Can we bring it up there? No, no, no. You stay right there. V. Gosh, that fish is sounding. Look at him go, folks. Oh, gosh, he's way under the boat. Golly. I can't believe it. It's a mile under the boat. Tank, folks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much to even think you're gonna catch two in a week. Better monster fish. This time we have a scale. If we're fortunate to get them in. Do we have a scale? I do. Oh, this time thank I have goodness. A scale. Are you back for enough to see all the bending going on? Oh yeah. Okay. Folks, we have got another big fish. A big rockfish. And golly, he's just staying down, folks. I'm just gonna try to try to bring him up. Vic. Oh please get it in. Do you want the net? I, no no no. I, I've got it. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> can you believe it? He is oh I, I don't know how big this fish is. <laughs> <laughs> Could I be that blessed? 
<laughs> what did I just say? Exactly a week later. <laughs> just keeping a pressure on him, Lord. Lord. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I'm praying. Folks, I'm praying. <laughs> Lord. Praying and trying to talk. He's staying straight down. Can you see where he's staying straight down, V? Gosh, I don't know. In front of the boat's in 38 foot of water, folks. Man. Just gonna take our time. See if we can gain on them a little bit now. It's gotta be wearing down. pressure on him. Oh my gosh. Vic, when he comes up, there he is. Oh my gosh, Vic. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> get Are it. you? Get it. I can't. He doesn't fit in the net, Vic. Oh my gosh, get it. Get it. <laughs> Vic. I promise you, this is, this is not, this is not the same fish, I promise you. You I, just kept it in the live well for oh a week. Oh my gosh, <laughs> folks. Is it different? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the bait. Okay, look. We've gone through this once, folks. So we, we have. Know. Oh my gosh, folks, I am not kidding Hopefully we're pre more prepared today. Folks, oh. how big is that fish, folks? <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> how big? How big, Vic? He's every bit as big as the other one. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay. Definitely. What a tank. What a tank. Folks, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not a rock fisherman. <laughs> I've got 80 to 100 pounds of rock fish in a week's time. Okay, let's get this one measured. Yes. Right. Well, folks, I'll say it again. What an absolute blessing it is to catch a big old fish or even a little fish, but especially if you have a fishing friend with you, someone that enjoys God's beautiful outdoors. And I'm so fortunate that my beautiful wife loves it too. Folks, thanks for tuning in and spending your valuable time with us this week. And be sure to tune in next week for another exciting episode in God's Great Outdoors right here on Fishing Affliction TV for those who've got it bad. This week's Team Fishing Affliction featured Facebook friend is Charlie Yokely. And thanks for being our Facebook friend. For your chance to join in the fun and become an official Team Fish and Affliction featured Facebook friend, simply like us on Facebook. And be sure to write a comment on our wall. As always, a big thank you to all of our national and local sponsors for providing us with the most advanced technology and highest quality products and services. Be sure to visit each of our partners online through the sponsor links page on our official website at fishandaffliction.com. And this is your old pal Matthew Gillen, the voice of Fish and Affliction TV, hoping that you'll tune in next week because there's no doubt that Dan and the Big Dog got it bad. They've got Vision Affliction for those who got it bad. We do have a TV show, but Doug, you know. A giant, giant spot. A good tip for fishing a buzz bang? Yeah. Is when they hit it, just keep reeling. Do not jerk. But several times in the back of the boat already, there's been... Let's rip its lips off. Let's get so excited. Almost knock yourself out of the boat type stuff. He's definitely a rookie when it comes to fishing I remember buzz the first, bait. We were talking about the first time we ever fished the buzz bait too. I have caught the biggest bass so far. <laughs> <laughs> On my buzz bait, so mm, <laughs> all I can tell y'all.